Through the book you are entering from one passageway into another, but they appear to be the same space. The arch symbolises the passageway, and on opening the book you view a large arch which slowly diminishes to the last page. This is the work of Angela Cavalieri and it's called La Citta Continue and it was published in 2009. It's a concertina book that folds out to more than two metres when it's fully extended. So it's a hand-printed lino cut with acrylic and pen and ink. Angela, as an artist, she's Melbourne-based of Italian heritage and she's known for her large-scale works which often feature a really layered use of text in particular and language and she's spoken often and written about how her um, Italian migrant heritage has played a really important role in her artistic practice. So this work, uh, Le Citta Continue, or Continuing Cities, is a response to Italo Calvino's work Le Citta Invisibili, um, Invisible Cities. And Angela chose to respond to, to Calvino's text because of the way it gave her uh, a sense of time and space um, and of the, I guess, of the, the notion of the doorway and text as a, as a sort of gateway into a new world, um, an invisible space of imagination. So this is what the book looks like when sort of almost fully extended. And you can see that form of the archway of the door is, is really prominent when you, when you see it repeated and that sense of the infinite. And Angela, um, in her artist statement, which I'll just quote from, describes that in a really beautiful way. She, she writes, I wanted to create the sensation I often have when entering and re-entering a city. For me, it feels like a continuous journey. And although cities vary, it appears that you're in the same space and you can dissolve into it. 